Um, if you guys can see my Simulink diagram on the left. So this diagram is the one that's actually running uh, live as we speak. You have the plot on the bottom that I'm running and you also have the, um, the camera. So this is the camera of the queue plugged into my PC as we speak. Uh, you have the model that's running in Simulink uh, and then the plot of that data. So if I disturb this with my, my hand, you can see that the plot you know, and reacts uh, accordingly and it's running, uh, it's running all in real time. And so what we wanted to show you here is an ability to say once you're actually in the, um, in the actual uh, lecture delivering it online, one possible use case of doing this is actually having a setup like this um, with a professor. So let's assume that I'm a professor. I want to teach or, or walk them through that experience. But right here with the experience that they're given, you don't actually see the code, the underlying code. Whereas in, you know, in general, all of our products, like I was mentioning, have an open interface to them. And so here you can actually, as a professor, use one of our models. So this is just the one over here is a PD controller. So I have P as one and a D as zero. Um, but you can actually walk them through the derivation of that, how you can put it together and what exactly each component is doing. Um, and actually show them, you know, those interactions in real time here. So for example, if I say my P, my P gain is three, well, now I'm going to get um, some ringing there as well. And if I come back here and I make my P gain be three and I run it, you know, you can see that it's actually getting similar results. Um, if you want to be even more accurate, you can see if I swap it out to actual, that my results are actually quite bang on. And, and so the students are then asked to go through um, and, and they, you know, do the exercises there that way. But the power of actually doing this, um, you know, through a lecture where you can actually show them the full experience, show them the actual piece of hardware by camera. You can uh, share your screen as a lecture and show them the underlying code in Simulink and the responses that you're getting in Simulink and how they compare to the theoretical or to the, uh, the digital model that the students are playing with. This is yet another way of really bringing those concepts to light. Um, and, and adding a different dimension of still bringing the hardware into the classroom, um, and, but still delivering it remotely, having the students uh, follow along um, virtually as well.